Hi and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. Now there are a bunch of customer relationship management tools out there. A CRM tool enables a business to know at what stage a particular customer or a particular lead is. It helps track the life cycle of a customer or the life cycle of a lead. CRM is just about customer databases. So it's about knowing that I have a customer here. Uh, somebody contacted me. I have their details here. And at that point, they are in the stage of a lead. Maybe you've just acquired a new lead or they're in a stage where you have to meet with them and maybe do a demonstration of the product that you have or they're in the stage of actually buying from you. CRM tools will help you track these different things. Now, GetResponse is introducing this CRM. You may have a landing page with your products, a landing page with something you're offering, or you can have a contact, a contact form on your website where all your services and products are listed and people will sign up. And once they sign up, you can use the CRM tool on GetResponse to track the life cycle of that lead. So you may have certain activities that you need to do in order for that to happen. You introduce them into your list and then maybe you tell them about your products or what you're selling. You request if you're selling actual services or physical products, you may request a meeting. You go and meet with them and at every stage you move them into a different category. So when you've just met them they've come into your list at that point maybe they're in one stage where they're a new lead and then once you talk to them you tell them about your products and they tell you like yeah i've actually been looking for this solution at that point you may move them into another list and they become a prospect and then maybe you organize a meeting you call them up and you organize a meeting with them and then they say they're going to buy and they actually buy. At that point, they become a customer and you move them into the customer category. So that's what a CRM is about. It's just a way for tracking the life cycle. Okay. At what stage someone is, they're a good customer. Some people are can be good customers. Some people are one-time customers. Then you can have those customers who have become evangelists for your business meaning that they tell other people about your business and they bring you business uh, by referring other people. So that's what a CRM is all about. In simple terms, it's just a customer database and knowing where every customer is and moving them to the right category at every point. So you move them so that you always know where, where someone is. So I'm just using the word categories, but it's not related to anything in customer relationship management. So if I click on CRM, let's just see the CRM functionality in GetResponse. So I want to cover everything in this video. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over everything that is here because this is in the beta stage. So that means that it's, uh, it's probably not fully formed. They're probably going to add more features. They're probably going to change a few things, but I guess the basic functionality will remain the same. So when you come here into CRM, you see you can manage your pipelines. So pipelines, that's what I was talking about in terms of uh, putting them in the right category, in the right place. Like somebody just joined your list. You cannot put someone who's just joined your list along with somebody who's bought a product from you in the past. The person who's bought is of a higher value than someone who's just joined the list. So you need to put them in you need to put them in different categories in your in your CRM. Now let's say I click on create a pipeline. You can see I don't have any. So if I create a pipeline, a pipeline is basically the workflow or rather the flow or the various stages of a customer in the view of my business. Here you can see when I click on new pipeline you see what comes up for us we have these different stages you can see here we have a new qualified stage you can rename it into whatever you want and then we also have presentation so these are created here by default but if you know how your pipeline works then you can give them the names based on your 
pipeline. Maybe you're in the construction industry or maybe you're in a consultation business. How your business works may be different from somebody else's and therefore you can give these different names depending on that. So here maybe you have to create a proposal. These people asked for a proposal. You will bring them into this stage and then you can see here we have one like i was talking i was just talking about construction so if you're in the construction industry maybe people must submit proposals so that they're chosen for the job and if you want maybe you add that customer here and then lost it didn't work out somebody else won you just put them there and then you can also add a stage at the end or at the beginning of of this pipeline so if i say add at the open stage you see here new qualified this was there the first one but maybe you want to add something different here you want to add something before this stage maybe you have many different stages you want to add one just add that on there but i'll delete this so if there was anything here of course you can delete and move the deals the deals are the actual subscribers the deals are the contacts of your customers the contacts of your prospects so if i just confirm delete that should remove it or you can add one at the closed stage so at the closed stage this is whereby we have this one and the lost you can add something else maybe you intend to contact them in future or maybe you intend to tell them about something else you can add another stage there so we are going to see how you put the actual deals in here the deals are the subscribers the actual contacts you can see all of this you can delete some of them this ones i can i see you can't delete but up here we have save let me click on save before you click on save you can change the name to something that is more appropriate and reflective on what your pipeline is about okay so if you want to change the name you just click the gear icon and you'll change the name and then you click on save or cancel so once i do this of course the next thing is you want to see how you can add the actual subscribers or the actual uh, the actual customers now just a practical example let's say that uh, you want new customers so you come to get response and then you create a landing page or a form and then you want those people to be in your pipeline here so what you'll do is so you'll click on add deals and then you can select the actual list here in most of the videos upcoming you're going to see that uh, list is not a common term it used to be campaigns okay but now campaign is just a list okay so every time you come across the word campaign in one of the videos i will do in future just know that it entails the list choose the list that you want to import those subscribers from and you're importing them into your crm so let's say these are just new people these are new people that you want to add to your crm so from which list so i've already selected the list there we go and then what do you want to do with your contacts you can convert all from the selected list you can also convert existing and future so what this means is that if you select this all people in this list or whichever list you choose they will always be added into your pipeline you can also say you want to select manually and you want to choose certain people from that list but in my case let me just say convert all and let me say convert existing and future contacts then i go next so i hope you understand that bit about selecting it's just future future proofing such that if new people join the list they will automatically get added and then you can start contacting them and telling them about your services and business and so on and so forth now label uh, just give it a label what's the characteristics of the deals okay so i can say mine are newbies and then you can add the stage at which you want to add them do you want to add them at the new qualified stage or do you want to add them at the presentation stage so it depends on the stages that you had so for me the first one was new qualified this is someone who's just joined my list and then you want to say if they join my list 
today on 3rd of January 2018. Maybe you say two weeks from now, I should have closed this person. I should have closed them on the deal and everything should be done. It depends on the business that you're in. So if you give yourself two weeks, you'll say that it should be closed by 17th. And on this date, you'll go and check and make sure that you followed through. Okay, you did everything you're supposed to. And if they won, if you won, you won. If you lost, then you lost. Say la vie. Now, account manager. Maybe you have employees, different marketers, and you want different sales representatives. You want this to be somebody's responsibility. So maybe there's one person who deals with new people. He tells them that, hey, this, uh, this is our business. And then once he's done with that bit, manages to get a meeting. Somebody else will go in and deal with those people during the meetings and the presentations and the demonstrations so maybe you can give them an account manager and if you're only one person you can just leave that blank then maybe you say what is the deal value let's say you're selling a particular product that has a specific cost so you know the price of whatever you're selling maybe it's a hundred dollars if everything works then in the end you should get hundred dollars so that's what this is and you can change the currency the currency there to reflect wherever you are and then go next you can see this has been added there's only one contact in that list if you had lots of lists you'd be able to see all of them here and you can change them and put them wherever you want to put them so let's say this is a list and you want to use this to plan out okay you want to plan what actions you're going to take with this list and whoever else is in this list so if i come here i can go into edit so if you had different people you do this for every single person in the list so the label this is a newbie they're new to my list that's just a label that i gave but you can give the label based on your business and then all this we added so you can change this here the value you can change anything else there and then another important thing you can create an action an action do you want to call email are you going to meet them or are you taking a demonstration to them are they coming to see you so you can create an action here okay so if you create an action let's say that you will call them and then you schedule the call for the next day. Click down on OK. And then you can add notes, any notes that you want to add here to remind you of anything specific about them. So right now, there's no way for this to actually bring back a reminder to you. But I think that's something they should think about or they're working on. Like if you say a call, maybe it should send you an email at a certain point telling you that you need to call this person or you need to, to go and meet someone. It should do something like that but currently this crm doesn't now comments you can add any further information that you want to add then deal history you can see how things have worked out to that person in the past they just joined the list there's nothing else that is new just join the list add it to pipeline and that's it and then contact details you can view their information here phone numbers everything this i forgot to save this it was for the next day and then go and then you if you want to add notes add notes comments add comments and then make sure you click on save so that that action can be added you see now we have an action there and i don't have anything else to add here and you can also see that here it allows you to add more deals if you want to add more people here you can add more people if you want to send a message you can send a message let me just click on this for example sake so you see this is just the same thing about sending messages okay so let's go back so if you want to send a message you can select that and you can also export these ones if maybe you're taking them to a different platform also you can export this if you had more people here and 
let's say that on this day the fourth you call that person and everything goes well you plan a presentation you're not going to leave them here okay what's going to happen is you're going to come here and you're going to move them you will move them because you have to track where they are that's the point of a crm you have to track where that lead or where that customer is you have to track so at this point this person is uh, in presentation so maybe you'll come here and edit it and then you'll say that this was done you called them that was done macnot has done and then you want to add a new action okay now you've set up a meeting and you'll meet them on 7th of january and then any other details just write it save and then here again if you want to send a message you can send an email to them if you want to export people who are here go ahead and do that let's say you've done the presentation and they tell you you know what write us a proposal you'll move them here okay then you go in you create the proposal you set a date for when you'll be sending the proposal then maybe they tell you you know what we like your company we'd like to do business with you then you will say i won you won the business if it didn't work out you will put them here if you had a huge number of customers you can export the list and use it maybe you want to do a promotion to these people you can come here send a message to this particular group so that's it for this video okay i hope you have some level of understanding about the crm in get response this is a new feature so it is not in any of the videos it is absolutely new and if you're planning on using it and you didn't know how now at least you have some knowledge of when and why and how you may be able to utilize it for your business goals for your business needs and it's very important by the way to track your customers because you don't want to be sending a customer the same thing you need to be moving them yeah different stages they need to be at different stages like if you spoke to someone if somebody joined your your customer database on a specific date you should have a goal that on this specific date i should have told them about this and at least organized a meeting and see if they are they are going to buy and you can use that and you can use the get response crm to help you in that respect so that's pretty much it uh, about this i don't think that there's anything else that i will need to update on in the course as per now because as i've told you in the past videos most things have changed uh, the interface has changed but most of the things are still the same you'll just do them in the similar in, in in the same manner you shouldn't be concerned that you need to relearn get response no i may create uh, i'm actually going to recreate this full course but not because you need to relearn it it's just something that i want to do okay and i will do that maybe somewhere two months or three months from now but i will create it and once i do if you're interested in joining it i'll let you know but as per now this course is useful as it is so i'll see you in the next video